I'm going to show you how I set up my ring light. I got eight, um, 18 inches ring light. Um, I show you where I unbox it, so I'm going to be setting it up today. I just want you guys to see how I set it up. I'll take you guys along and show you how I set it up. Okay, guys. So my ring light is in this box here. So I'm going to unzip the box and bring everything out. So this is a stand. Let me just move the camera up a bit so you guys can see my face more better. Okay, so this is the stand. So first thing first, we need to open the stand up. Yeah, so the stand practically comes full like this. So you just open it out. You see? So once you open it out like this, so this part is the part that is going to go to the floor. I'm setting it up in my living room because there's more space here. So to show you guys properly. So that's how it will look like once you set the leg. You can adjust the leg anyhow you want. And then this little stuff here, this stuff here, you have to unscrew them so they can lift up. You see that? So that brings them up just to make it more taller. So I'm going to be unscrewing them so that it will come more taller. Okay, so you can see that it's much, much taller now. So it's almost more than my height. Okay, guys, so I'm going to put it over here because I want you guys to really see it when I set it up. So once you pull it to the height you want, you tighten them. You have to tighten the, the screws back so it stays still. So what I'm going to reduce it down a bit on this one because it might be too tall by the time I put the light. So I reduce it down a bit. So you tighten it up. And then you tighten this one as well. Okay, so next I'm going to put the ring light now. So guys, this is the, the light. My face in there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the light so I'm going to put it on top of the stand so there's this little thing here this little round hole here and this little tightening screw here that you need to untighten that's where the thing is going to go into here into this little thing here so I just flip it down to flip it down you need to adjust this one as well this screw needs to you need to loosen this screw and then this one easily just fold down can you see that has fold down now you can fold it up again as well so you fold it down so i'm going to put this one here precious i don't know why my daughter is going through under the camera so you can see that it's quite tall so i'm going to bring it down a bit because it's too tall the ring light is also going to crash down it's going to feel like it's coming down on me so you need to also tighten this ring to make it stand firm okay guys so there so i've set it up now so the next thing to set up is the plugs and as i showed you if you've watched my unboxing it came with two plugs but I will be using this one because this is the one we use in UK we don't use the other one that I showed on my unboxing you can check the video where I unbox it I'll try and see if I can leave the link of the video on top of the screen as a card so my daughter is just going to plug it and then it came with the adapter we should plug this mat into here okay it's quite long the cord is about two meters i think long so this one here goes into the ring light so it goes like it has a little um cash there that goes into this hole here so you put it together and then you twist it okay so it locks properly 
Okay, so now I've plugged it. I've plugged it. I'm going to tell my daughter to move the camera a bit back. Okay, guys, so my battery went off. So um, let me start from where I was. So actually, I was showing you the back. You have to tighten the screw at the back here. This screw here is the one that holds the ring light to the stand. And this screw here is the one that actually made the ring light to stand straight. This is the back of the ring light I'm showing you. If you see, if I undo this screw here, if I twist it, I've twisted it so tight. But if I untwist it, can you see the way it's going down? Can you see the way it's going down? So if you want to stand up, you need to bring it up and then tighten this screw. Okay? So once you tighten it also, you can adjust the, the stand. You need to just unscrew and lift it up. Can you see that? So if you don't want to be too high up, all you need to do is to just bring it a bit high up and tighten the screw. And as I said earlier, the leg is at the bottom there. So you can you can make it more taller than the way I've done it. It's up to your that's your choice. I've plugged it already. The connections I've plugged there. So now I'm just going to show you how to on it. Okay, guys. So the switch for to on it is right at the bottom. Let me bring it close to the camera so you guys can see it. This is the switch to on it. Can you see it there? So this switch on it. So I'm going to use this switch to on it and it also off it. And this switch also dim the light. Okay guys, so I'm going to come a bit back so you guys can see the fullness of it. Where this is not the whole length. This is not the whole length. So this is just a bit of the length. Okay guys, so this is just a bit of the length. So I'm going to off my light in my living room so you guys can see how bright it really is. Precious. Yeah. Off that one there. So I'm just switching off all the lights in my living room. Marcia, if you can help me. Oh, that one. Okay, guys. So you can see that it's quite dark now. So I'm going to on... Sorry, my daughter just went through the front of the camera. <laughs> I don't know why. She went through the front of the camera. That's not very nice. Sorry about that, guys. So now I'm going to on it. So you can see everywhere it's gone dark. So I'm going to on the light so you guys can see how bright. Okay, guys. So now you see how I set it up. So I'm going to show you guys how to change the filter. So to change the filter is very easy. Let me lift my camera up so you guys can see it. It's very easy to change it. All you need to do is to remove this white one. See? Remove this white one. So they both have this little clip. See the little clip? And then you have this, um, like a gap in between. The other one goes to the bottom of this one. So this is the orange filter I comes in. So I'm going to put it on so you guys can see the light. So you can use yellow light if you want to use a yellow light. So I start, there is a, a division here in the front. So I'm going to start it from that line there. So you just click it back on. It's very easy to click it on. And then you put the other one. This is the one that goes to the bottom. So you just click it on it as well. So this one has to go to the bottom. Okay. So now the same you do with this remaining two. So you just put this one at the bottom of this one. And then this one to the bottom. Sometimes the last one tends to be a little bit challenging to do. So 
I just move it and then readjust it. Okay, so I've done it now. So you can see, just bring it closer so that you can see. So I fixed it. It's quite easy to fix it, just sometimes the last one here can be just a little challenging, but once you've done it, I say. So this is the light. This is the kind of light you get. It's like an orange kind of light, if you can see my face. Yeah, so this is the light you get. So you can dim it there. I'm not doing it to the full because it's extremely too bright. But this is the light you get. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the attachment. So this is for your phone and expand. And this is for your camera. But you need this one to go into there. Welcome, you are in the vlog. <laughs> That's my husband in the vlog. So anyway, you screw this one at the bottom. So this is for your phone. This one is for your camera, but this needs to go into here before you can attach it to the light. So here, so you just screw it to the bottom of that and then it goes, It goes in here so at the bottom here it got like a square kind of shape and then this one screws out it doesn't screw at off it just screw up so it gives you space to put it here so you put it there and then you tighten it with a little there's a little tightening here the screw you just screw it back okay so now you can put your camera in here okay so your phone your phone can also go in here so you put your phone here that's way. and that's the light again so let's assume you've put your phone in there and then you can switch the light on so your camera or your phone will be here okay guys so that's what i wanted to show you guys yeah and also it has a remote control if i forget yeah so this is the remote control this remote control here this remote control here you have to connect it to your phone or your camera bluetooth you connect it to the bluetooth so you can take pictures and then it has a little manual inside it also comes with a bag if you watch the unboxing you will realize it comes with a bag because i have a video of where i unbox it so it has it comes with a bag that you store everything into. Okay, guys. So yeah, this is it. Um, I'll be using it to do some hair tutorial and maybe some other stuff. Yeah, guys. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you. Catch you guys in my next vlog.